a chance to serve the Kenyan people. Wewe kwa nini unatoa pesa ambayo largely ni pesa ya kuipa unakuja ku sponsor vitu za kuharibia wa Kenya wengine biashara. I also want to say this. Tumeona hawa watu ati wanafikiria sisi ni waoga. Wanatutisha maandamano hapa, maandamano pale. Thinking we are going to blink because they have had a perpetual problem. Wakijeta kwa uchaguzi wana shida. Wanakuja kwa njia ya mkato ati wanaingia katika serikali. I want to tell them na wasikie vizuri. Waandamane juu ya muti, waandamane kwa barabara, waandamane juu ya nyumba. Whatever they are going to do, we are not going to allow a government of Lusum Kate. Na wasikie vizuri kabisa. Na tena na patu. Nataka nitoe onyo nikiwa hapa Muranga. Mount Kenya region yote. We are not going to allow this kind of anarchy and violence. There is no leader we are going to allow to come with thugs waharibu biashara za watu hapa huko Mount Kenya region. Na sisi wa tunafaa wajue hatujapepa watoto kwa mgongo na wakiona tumenyamaza wasikirie sisi ni waoga sisi ni wale wale walikuja na vifaru ya serikali last time wakakuja na guns hakuna kitu wanaifanya watoto wa maumau ni sisi na hawa wazazi wetu wako hapa Mount Kenya region there will be no maandamano we are not going to allow any anarchy in our region na hapa wasikanyange wa kama ni mtu wa adamane aende yafukue nyumba hapo kwa kenje adamane barabara ya kwenda kwake aende ya chome we are not going to allow any kuharibifu ya infrastructure hapa kwetu na ya mwisho kabisa mimi nataka niwasihi na ni was, I, i request this leaders they are coming here purporting at you tunaadamana kwa sababu ya bei ya hii na hii bei ya uga was at a higher price when president uhuru kenyatta and his hardship brother were in power it was at a higher price hii yote wanafanya ni jama tu ya kuhadawa Kenya at they come purporting they are fighting for Kenyans na hapa chini wanajaribu pengine waone kama tutakuwa na mazungumzo there will be no mazungumzo there will be no mkatenusu government na hiyo tumekataa msikie pia simu za mbele mwalimu wa hapa kambi tuko kuongezea hata hali ni kwa bibi yako wale kusema na kwa nasa
ati no ke mau Kenya region kurehe maundu macio ma gwikira thaburi ya kiongo ni agerie tutigwitikira na matikuhanika mamenye andu ayo the asiari akwa na ithu turia tongoria no aria maratishire methikari ni na matutisha gutiri undu marekire na mamenye ithu no ithu ciana cia mau mau ciana ici cia serera mesira ya Kenya ni yao mena title muhuko mamenye tunawone 18 na gerekia dire president retired president uhuru kenyata wale we wathurirwo ni andu a kenya tamu ya miaka 10 tamu igire na rere wale wathanini president aria mali taite mbere yaku makuheire kanya weke maundu mari okwenda gwika ona waiya matia kuragia ona waikia bururi irima matia kuragia tukwenda gukuria na gitio president uhuru kenyata uhe atongoria aria marathurirwo ni andu a kenya gitio otiga kuhudhira mbeca ciaku iria nyingi ni ciaku yuo na njira ya kurehe kwi na madamano na guthukiria andu a Kenya biashara ciao president uhuru wa Kenya ata mbeca ciaku ni cio irahudhika madamano tondu ureciria ati ukurehe madamano andu maikare thi uthie na mbere maundu mari urekaga mako ga kuriha igoti igoti na nginya riri huo na gutire tutigwitikira ati kura tutisha wiyo kwanza <laughs> Mama nyona mona tukirete ndio tio sisi sio waoga president uhuru kenya ata wona ndio tukirete guko maut kenya otiga gutuikia ciara maitho we ni we mwene ngo isi ciothe mbeca ciothe irahutheka ni ciaku na ni toi na we ni uwi koguo uhe bururi wa kenya gitiyo na tukwire tutio kire kenya gucera ndio na turi agikuyu tutire bahasa tuikitio ni mundu ati agiciragia turi ngondu kana ngombe sia gutwarithio kuria kwenda ciana cia mau mau na cio ni cia thomire riu tirire mo tuikagia bahasa bururi wa Kenya tuthiukite gucera bururi wa Kenya turaikara tondu ni witu ithuothe na matige hangovers sia gwiciragia uria matuira matuikareire riu thiko isi ati marona marona William Ruto no yo state house makoragia ni mwana wao tukwenda tumere siku ya leo having a joint meeting with Vedaga Mixed and Vedaga Primary School where we have come to support both institutions with the first from Kiharu NTCDF. Largely, we have done majority of the work in our primary schools. We have been able to renovate majority of all of them actually. They all now look like academies, including tidying all the classrooms here in Kiharu. We are now in the process of revitalizing our secondary school education. That is why we launched a program called Kiharu Masumbor. And under that program, the fees in Kiharu for any day scholar is only a thousand per term. We are also buying revision books in the same program, and we are also improving our infrastructure through Kiharu NGCDF. That is why today we have come also to support with Aga Mixed with the funds for the completion of the ongoing dining hall so that we continue on adding on the portfolio of our infrastructure that we have in our districts. Na sisi kama CDO ya Kiharu, ile pesa mingi, tunawekelea ama tunaweka katika maneno ya elimu, kwa sababu elimu niyo maidereo. I want to speak very categorically and forthright and speaking here, from here, this is place is called Wedaga. And this is the home of Kenneth Stanley Jido Matiba. In fact, Kenneth Stanley Jido Matiba came from this ward. Also, Dr. Kiano was from this area. Tuko na viyogo ziwengi ya mawa metoka hii area. Na kwa honor of Mishuki, ni hapa tujira ni yetu. I want to say this. What the opposition the anarchists, the promoters of violence, 
calling themselves the opposition are purporting to be demonstrations. We have clearly seen, especially from the events that we witnessed on Wednesday, there, there is no kind of demonstration that they are holding. What they are doing is well choreographed, well financed, violence method on the people of Kenya and especially by the business people in Nairobi and other towns. These people are a purporting that they are doing this maadamano ostensibly because of the cost of living. Perusing even the prices of the basic commodities and especially Unga. Unga was at a higher price when President Uhuru Kenyatta and his Adesik brother we are ruling this government last year. We are doing our best and the Kenyan people are appreciated with whatever things that we are doing and especially to stabilize the economy that had been put into a nappies by the last regime. Unfortunately, kuna watu wa mezoea tukifanya uchaguzi kwa sababu kuna yao huwa haitoshi. Wanaleta maneno ya kupiganisha wa Kenya. Wakafanya, wamefanya hizo hiyo formula miaka yote. Kifanya uchaguzi wanasema kura imeimbiwa. Kifanya uchaguzi wanasema kura yao imepotea. Last year wa, tukaona wamesikana na wale wako serikalini wakakuwa sure tuko na kila kitu ya serikali uchaguzi hata muziko shida tutabanya muipe. Hiyo haikuwezekana kwa sababu watu wa Kenya wamejajaruka. Sasa tumeona wanatumia ile pinu pinu wametumianga hapo peleni. Wanaleta fujo, wanaleta violence atikio waitwe tukae chini atiwapewe serikali ya nusu mkati i want to speak for the right and kindly today na wanisikize vizuri wewe bwana kitendawili na watu yako muadamane muweke sufuria kwa kichwa hata muweke karai hata muweke do hata muweke sahani hata muadamane kitu gani wacha niwaeleze na musikize whatever thing that you are unleashing whatever strategy that you have will fail because there will be no mkatenusu in Kenya Kwanza government hakuta kuwa na serikali ya nusu mkate mufanye nini muende wapi ya pili mimi nataka niwape onyo wametuona saa zingine tumenyamaza wanafikiria kuna muoga hapa hakuna muoga hapa wote mnaona ndio wamenizaa Hawa ni watoto ya maumau. Sisi hakuna uoga tuko naye kwa mtu yeyote. Kama wao wanatihisi wako na maandamano nataka niwaeleze hivi. Mount Kenya region we are not going to allow any kind of maandamano and violence. Hiyo wanapapot. We are not going to allow anything that will destroy the livelihoods of the people of Mount Kenya region. We are not going to allow that kind of violence they are doing in their areas ati warepe hapa Mount Kenya region kama wanaweka zuburia kwa kichwa mtu awekee zuburia kwa kichwa akiwa kwa kenyubani na ya mwisho mimi nataka nieleze rais wetu hapa ya mstaafu president uhuru kenyatta the people of kenya gave you the highest degree of respect that a normal citizen can be given by fellow citizens they elected you twice you served your two year uh, your two five year terms you served at a point where we had two retired presidents in your as you reigned none of them walikuja kukuwagaisha